Now, before I get started on the foolery, the cops just went down the road, child. Now, cops don't never come in this neighborhood. This is a peaceful neighborhood. Everybody mind the business, child. But the cops don't went down, child. Now, I don't know where they went. I don't know what house. It may be just to serve a civil paper. But word on the curb is, the word on the curb is in the neighborhood gossip that my neighbor's child, <clears throat> he got him a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. That's what the news is, child. That's the gossip, honey. He got him a girlfriend, and they said that the girlfriend worked for the trash department. They said she can pick up a whole tree with her bare hands and break it in half. I didn't say that. I did not say that. I did not say that that woman can pick up a whole tree and break it in half. I didn't say that. That's what the word on the curb is. Also, the word on the curb is that you can parallel park in between her teeth. Now, I didn't say that either. Y'all are not going to get me to sit here and say that that woman can parallel Paul in between her teeth. I didn't say that, y'all. That is what the word on the curb is. So if y'all hear screaming and yelling, child, just don't pay it no mind. Because I will get the camera and we will go on a field trip onto that porch, child. Don't think I won't. Now, let's get into the foolery. What's my name? It's a yes. Oh, yes. I'm here for Fooey Friday. One more time. Oh, yes. Sit back, relax, unwind. What's my name? It's a yes. Oh, yes. I'm here for Fooey Friday. One more time. Oh, yes. Sit back, relax, unwind. Hi, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Sassy, I'm here to do another Foolery Friday. Yeah. <laughs> This week, not much going on. I will not be talking about the P-O-L-I-T-S-E-S. -E I will not be talking about it, okay? Mm-mm, mm-mm, not, not at all. We know who the winner is. There's nothing to discuss. We know who's throwing a full-blown temper tantrum. There's nothing to be to discuss. We know that they are counting by hand in Georgia. We know who the winner is. Okay? We just know. And let's just move on. Now, let's talk about Ms. Rona, honey. Ms. Rona's tired of y'all. She tired of y'all not listening to her. She tired of y'all not staying at home. She tired of y'all not wearing a mask. She tired of y'all not washing your hands. She's tired of y'all having all these, you know, functions. So she says, okay, you know, I can show you better than I can tell you. Let me just spike up these numbers. And boy, has she. Okay. The numbers have spiked. I think Texas is the first state that has reached a million COVID cases. If you live in Texas, be safe. Take care of yourself. I think California um, is a state that has also reached a million um, cases. If you're in California, child, take care of yourself. Be safe. Florida. Well, we already know Florida. Florida is just Florida, child. The cases have already been spiked. They spiking some more. I know where I live, where I live, um, the cases um, have spiked. They have doubled, in fact. So, y'all, it's on a rise. Chicago, the mayor has issued a stay-at-home order. I think it goes into effect Monday. So, for my Chicagoans, honey, <laughs> y'all be safe. Okay, take care of yourself, guys. All right? We, we're, we're, we're not going to get rid of Rome. Look, bottom line is, this is a norm. We are not going to get rid of Rona because people refuse to listen. People still think this is a hoax. People still run around with no uh, mask on. So we're not going to get rid of Rona with people not doing what they're supposed to be doing. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. So, they still working on the vaccine. Me, myself, I would not be taking that vaccine. I, I, I just won't do it. We don't know anything about it, and I feel like that they're rushing it. 
Okay. Now, later on down the line, I may take it, but no. Mm -mm. At this moment, I will not be taking a vaccine. I'll just keep doing what I'm supposed to be doing, wearing a mask, washing my hands, and keeping my butt at home. So, that's just what, you know, I'll be doing. I, I, I really do feel like that they are going to call a, another shutdown. I think they are going to call another shutdown. And here we are, you know, holiday time. Okay, you know, people are going to be out Christmas shopping and, you know, Thanksgiving's coming up. You know, they want to get with their families, you know. <sighs> are they still having Black Friday, y'all? Did they, did they, did they cancel Black Friday, child? Mm -mm. So anyway, what are y'all doing for Thanksgiving, child? No, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. Okay, so anyway, y'all just take care of yourself and let's hope that the Rona will subside just a little bit, but I, I, I don't see that happening. Okay, so anyway, y'all, wherever you live, stay safe. I'm thinking about you and I will say we're going to get through this, but child, it seems like that we ain't. We're going to have 20. You mean to tell me we are going to go into 2021 with this? We may go into 2021 with a shutdown. I'm telling you, this is not helping <laughs> my state of mind. <laughs> Ugh, I can't stand it, y'all. But anyway... Let's see what happens. All right, let's move on. All right, let's get started on some very, very, very sad news. Alice Trebek, the host of Jeopardy, passed away this week. He has been hosting that show for 37 seasons. 37! We all know Jeopardy. We all know Alice Trebek, and it's just a shame. He has been battling cancer uh, for a long time. And um, his battle's over. He had a wife. He had two children. And um, it's just a sad, sad thing. Every time I think of Jeopardy, I think of my dad. And my dad watched Jeopardy every day. Okay, he had his, his, his TV down packed. Okay, Westerns, Long Ranger, Bonanza. Okay, uh, Jeopardy and um, Wheel of Fortune. That is what my dad watched every single day. So, of course, every time when I see my dad, you know, Jeopardy, you know, was on or he had been watching it. So, anyway, it's such a shame. Such a shame. I know that they're talking about now, they're talking about who is going to replace him. I mean, really, can you really replace Alice Trebek? I mean, I know they want to keep the show going, but it just seems so odd to me to see someone else hosting, you know, Jeopardy. It's just sad. I mean, that's just like, let's talk, you know, Will of Fortune, if someone replaces Vanna White, you know, it, it'd just be odd. Okay, it, it'd just be odd. And also, who's the host of um, Will of Fortune, y'all? Oh, uh, Pat Sajak. So, ain't he the host, Pat St. Jack? Yeah. So, anyway, it will just be odd to see someone else, um, you know, host that show. But we shall see. Um, R.I.P. to Alex Trebek. Jeopardy will never, ever be the same. So, my prayers go out to his family. Let's move on. I want to talk about Britney Spears right quick. We all know throughout the years, Britney Spears have had her... Trials and tribulations. We know that she had a full-blown mental breakdown um, years ago where she was, you know, followed and, uh, by the paparazzi. She was always in the tabloids. I mean, if y'all don't remember that time, I remember. They were relentless on Britney Spears. They would follow her. They would tailgate her. I think one time they caused an accident. They were taking pictures of her nonstop. She was always on um, the news. And it escalated after she broke up with um, J. 
Justin Timberlake. And then she started dating Kevin Federline. It was just a circus. A circus. And so one day she just had a break. She shaved all her hair off. She, she went after the paparazzi with an umbrella. It was just a mess. And so her dad um, took over for her. She, he took over her uh, conservatorship. Um, he was um, by state. Uh, taking care of her finances, you know, making sure that she was mentally stable to um, be able to uh, take care of herself. Now, mind you, she's, I think she had two kids by this time. So, anyway, so that had been going on for years, okay? And at some time, we'll see Britney Spears, you know, you know, come around, and then she'll go, you know, away. We don't hear anything. And then here, late, here lately, she has been coming around a whole lot more. Well, news has popped up that she's tired of her dad, you know, being over her finances, you know, just her living situation, period. Okay, I think at one time um, they said that they wanted her sister, um, Jamie Lynn Spears, to take over her conservatorship and to look after her finances, to look after her estate. You know, and her sister is her baby sister, you know, so there must be some type of friction between her and her father because Brittany says um, she will never perform again as long as he is in control of her career. She loses a request to have her father removed as conservator over her, um, I guess, over her life, over her estate, over her finances, over her business. I mean, I guess he has full control over her whole, you know, business. And Brittany made herself an empire, honey. Oops, I did it again. Hey, hey, play with your heart. Lost in the game. Y'all remember, that's not my favorite song of Britney Spears. My favorite song is, She's so lucky. Hey, she's a star. And she cry, cry, cry with the lonely heart. That is a high <laughs> Y'all know I make up my own lyrics, child. But anyway, so, Britney's been going through it. She, she's been going through it for years. I think she's in a relationship now. Every once in a while, she pops up on Instagram, and she do a little, you know, hip roll here and there. So, what a mess with Britney Spears, child. What a mess. But hopefully, you know, she's getting the help she needs, and we shall see. You don't never hear anything about her mom. Is her mom still around? It was always her dad. So, child, Britney Spears, what a hot mess, huh? Let's move on. All right, let's talk about Larsa Pippen. Child, this ain't gonna I can't believe I'm talking about Larsa Pippen, child. But it is Foolery Friday. Now, Larsa Pippen, is that how you say her name, Larsa? Anyway, she was married to Scotty Pippen. Everybody knows Scotty Pippen. He was the famous basketball player of the Chicago Bulls. Well, yeah, they've been broke up, child. But she was also great friends with Kim Kardashian. All right. They were tight. Well, she says in an interview that um, the reason why their friendship and, um, you know, no longer exists, it was a big falling out, was because of Kanye. All right. She says that Kanye brainwashed Kim and the rest of the family to turn against her. She says she don't know why. She has no idea why, you know, Kanye turned them against her. She says that Kanye used to call her all hours in the morning. Four, five, six a.m. in the morning. Girl, why are you talk taking Kanye's calls? Why are you taking his calls, child? This is what she said, child. She says, Kanye used to call me at 4, 5, 6 in the morning, she said. I was a person that would take his calls when he wanted to rant. So you mean to tell me Kanye used to call you all hours in the morning, lost a bit, but I would listen to him. I would be like, I love you. You're the best. Things will get better. Why are you talking to this man when he has a whole woman at home? 
I was his go-to person to call when he wasn't happy with X, Y, Z. So you mean to tell me Kanye, Kanye West, was Larsa Pippen's go-to person to vent about? Maybe because I blocked him on my phone because I can not bear taking his calls anymore. So she said before that she don't know why he turned the whole family against her. Now she's saying that she got tired of listening to Kanye whining, okay? Venting to her all hours in the morning. His go-to person. That she got sick and tired of it, so she blocked. She did the whole block thing. But you said you loved him, though, Lawson. What's really going on? She said she was drained. Obviously, that really upset him, so he turned that into, oh, she's this and she's that. All started to ride his wave. If you're easily swayed like the wind, then do I really give a F? Should I give a F? I don't know. Was I hurt by it? Yes. But at the same time, I'm like, I've done nothing. I've never done one thing. I've been the most honest and truthful best friend to all of them. That's what she said about the Kardashians, okay? She says that Kanye turned the Kardashians against her because Larsa blocked his phone calls, and they just accepted it. She said, do I give a F? Should I get an F? She said she was hurt by it, but she moved on. Then come to find out she had been involved with Tristan Thompson. Now, we all know Tristan Thompson, child. Tristan Thompson, Chloe, the whole Jordan Woods scandal. Well, she said that she dated Tristan Thompson, and she said that she took Tristan Thompson to a party, I think at the Kardashians, or the Kardashians was there, whatever. She took him to possibly a, a Kardashian party, and that is how he hooked up with Chloe. okay? She said like seven to ten days after she had took um, Tristan to this party, he hooked up with Chloe. She said, oh, well, okay, no big deal. I mean, it's all good. I mean, hey, they hooked up. They did not hook up while Chloe and Tristan were together. She wanted that to be clear. Okay. She wanted that to be clear, that she did not hook up with uh, Tristan while he, he was with Chloe. Now, why is Larsa feeling the need to tell this story? Why? This is so old. Old, okay? This happened, what, over a year ago between the whole Tristan and Chloe and Jordan Woods drama? And I believe Tristan and Chloe, they're back together, right? So, you know, who cares? Jordan done moved on. Everybody done moved on. But here comes Larsa Pippen. She bored. She got nothing to do. They're like, Larsa, go sit down somewhere. I never really care for her. You never really hear any good things about her. She always insert herself in somebody's business. Why are you taking these man's calls at four, five, six in the morning? Just foolish. Just silly. Silly, silly. Y'all, let's move on, child. Y'all, have y'all ever heard of the OnlyFans account? OnlyFans is a app where you can watch, you know, soft P-O-R-N. Okay? Not hardcore, but soft. All right, where you can put up videos doing the bump, bump, bump. You can put up, you know, racy pictures, you know, and you have to pay. Some of them are $5.99, some of them are $5, some of them can go up to $100, some of them can go up to $500, whatever, okay? But you can subscribe to a person's you know, OnlyFans account to see some racy photos or some, you know, bump, bump, bump. Well, guess who have an OnlyFans account, child? Chris Brown. Chris Brown done opened up an OnlyFans account. And child, for $20, you can see Chris Brown doing whatever Chris Brown want to do, child. Now, see, someone made an excellent point. Someone said, now, listen here. Okay, or are you going to be showing some penis or are you just going to be painting and dancing around the room? Because, son, I can see that on Instagram. 
We want to see the penis. Now, not me. Not me. I don't want to see the penis. But we want to see the penis. <laughs> Chris Brown got y'all up there paying $20 for what? For what? For him to be doing this. <laughs> y'all know Chris Brown ain't going to be filming himself doing the bump, bump, bump. Y'all know Chris Brown ain't going to be showing his his penis. He, he may show a booty cheek. He may show a booty cheek. But y'all know y'all ain't going to get nothing wrong. But y'all going to be out here paying $20. Okay, well y'all go ahead and out there and pay $20 to see him doing nothing. Y'all going to pay for Chris Brown's OnlyFans, child. <laughs> it will be a cold day, honey. Never, never in my life, child. Child, please, please. Let's move on. Terry McMillan tweeted, So, Waiting to Exhale is going to be a TV series produced by Lee Daniels, Attica Locke, Timby Locke, or writing Anthony Hemingway will direct. I lucked out. Yes, you did, honey. Listen. I am all for this. Some people are like, leave the classics alone. You know, Whitney is not alive. Y'all, they're not redoing the movie. They're making a TV series out of it. And it could be good. Okay? It could be great. All right? They got great writers. Lee Daniels is behind it. But listen, Empire was bombed the first three, four seasons. And then... Y'all, I don't know what happened. It just started turning ridiculous, okay? So, anyway, um, I think that it has potential. And I will definitely uh, be watching for it. Uh, what do y'all think about this Wayne Exhale TV series? I, I, I think it'll be good. If they cast it correctly, if the writing is on point, then I think that it should um, be a... Um, you know, a success, but we shall see, honey. Terry McMillan, honey, that was my book. Honey, I read that book. I watched that movie so many times. Bomb. I mean, we cannot deny Waiting to Exhale was a fantastic movie. And, of course, Whitney and Angela Bassett and, you know, um, Loretta Devine and um, uh, what was her name? What was the other girl's name, y'all? The one where her boyfriend showed up in the dead of summer with that leather vest on with no shirt. <laughs> What's her name? Oh, uh, anyway, but, um, yeah, I'll be interested in that. We will see, you know, where this, you know, goes. But what do y'all think about it? I'm pretty excited about it. Child, let's move. Tiger. Tiger. Isn't that one of the Kardashians' baby daddies? Um, Kendall. No, Kylie. Kylie's baby daddy's tiger, right? Amber Rose, or am I confused? Y'all help me out. Tiger is Amber Rose's baby daddy and Kylie's, right? Child, put it down below. Tiger is sued for unpaid rent. $32,000 worth of damages by former landlord. Tiger, why ain't you paying your rent, child? Now, you know you have $32,000. Just foolish. I just don't get it. They out here buying cars, houses, jewelry. But you cannot pay $32,000 in rent and you cause damage. Tiger's former landlord is suing him for over $32,000 in unpaid rent and damages from April 2020. The landlord claims, claims Tiger left thousands of dollars worth of damage, including gouges in the kitchen's white oak flooring, marble flooring, counters, and damaged walls with murals and wallpaper. Tiger didn't stop there. The landlord also claims that there was a basketball hoop inside without his permission. Tiger paid the $32,000. Pay the $32,000 and shut up. Just ridiculous. Just so stupid. Let's move on, child. All right, we have the weekend. 
congratulations to him. He is doing the halftime um, show at this year's Super Bowl. Are you excited about that? Do you care? Am I a fan of the weekend? Mm, he's all right. I mean, I don't know about no halftime show. I don't know about that one, y'all. What y'all think about the weekend doing the halftime show? I don't know about that one. But we shall see. Okay, we shall see, honey. All right, congratulations to, I know I am going to mess up your name, child. Asya, A-S-Y-A, Branch. She is the first black Miss USA to represent the state of Mississippi, child. Honey, Mississippi said we are going to come up and we are going to show out, child. So, congratulations to this young lady. She is the very first black female to win Miss USA to represent Mississippi, honey. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. So, congratulations to her. Child, the cops ain't came back up yet. <laughs> A mess. That's it, guys. That is it. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Y'all stay safe, okay? Continue to wash your hands. Continue to wear a mask, all right? And until next time, bye!